Oh man, this is a big fish. This will be the biggest fish I've caught out of here by far if I can get this one. Mouthful of moss again. Spitting out all that moss. She's gonna get tired of that one of these times and just inhale this thing. I know she is. Yep. Oh, the tail again. Spitting out moss. <laughs> Oop. Got her. Got her. Keep reeling, Augie. Keep reeling. Very nice fish, Augie. I don't even care what happens the rest of the day, do you? I don't even care. It was already an amazing day, right? Well, I'm on my way to this pond for the third time in a row. Not the third day in a row. Not quite, anyway. <laughs> Had a day or two in between trips, but anyway. My last three trips have been to this pond. And I'm here today because it was supposed to rain really hard the other night but it ended up not doing that actually so I had a few fish that I had uh, paired up on beds over here some big fish actually some bigger fish than anything I've caught in here so far saw some giants actually I would say for this kind of pond they're absolute giants so anyway I'm hoping that some of them have pulled up and actually locked onto beds there was one or two maybe that were actually on a bed, but they were ultra spooky. And then the other ones were kind of just hanging around. They weren't really locked on to anything. Oh, there's a good bass right there. Good one right here. Hmm. I think this fish can see me though. It's kind of wide open. I actually looked at it pretty decently the first pitch when it was coming in. So that might be how I have to get this fish. I'm going to reset here a little bit. I'm actually just going to back up over here. Let this fish get right up against the bank where he wants to be again. You know what? The fish is going out right now. I'm actually going to come up here and I'm going to bend this stuff back, make it an easier pitch for me. shake my line off of that limb fish came and ate the back half I saw it out of the corner of my eye that was crazy oh did it again wow it's higher up in the water column because it's hung on this branch and this fish is eating it They're smacking it anyway eating little parts of it oh yep wow okay well if this works it works if it doesn't, is that a drop shot I can tie on here? Oh, there it comes off the limb finally. 
Wow. He was reacting to it being mid water column hopping around like that right in front of his face. Huh. I'm going to try a drop shot here pretty quickly if I can't get him to bite this. I don't really have a drop shot set up. Got heavy line, but I've got a hook and a weight for it at least, so might work. That fish was just nipping at the tails of this thing though. All it was hung up in that tree, that was wild. Ah. There we go. Ah. Spooked off a little far there. Come on, get back in there. Where did that fish go? Oh, there it is, out there. Let's see my bait coming in. Oh yeah, doesn't like that. Does not like it coming in. Yep. <laughs> that swirl right there is actually from his tail. He ran up to it really quickly and then stopped and his tail made that swirl right there in the water. That was cool. where the fish is at right now. There it is. Up there to the left. Running down to it. Oop, got it. Got him. Oh, oh, no. Get off that limb. Come up here. Come up here. All right. All right. Wow. That is a solid one there. I had to work hard for that fish. But finally got her finally got her or him whatever I don't know if it's a male that's a really nice male but I think that's a I think that's a female though. that's a heavy heavy fish very very nice fish off of a bed oh she's still got plenty of fight left in her I didn't get a whole lot of fight out of her got her on the bank pretty quick but thank you for playing girl that was fun. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very nice bass right there. Super, super shallow. Might be one of those situations where I have to break off limbs and stuff. Risk scaring the fish first. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Just backing up a little bit, staying right here, letting these people clear out. Before I come up here and decide what I'm going to do. Oh my goodness, that is a big fish. I guess I'm going to come around here and see what I can do from right here first. Oh yeah, there's going to be limbs everywhere. Probably going to have to break stuff off and risk scaring this fish. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to break some stuff off here though. Spook him off for a little bit. Oh. big fish right here. One of them is pretty nice and one of them looks real big. Um, I'm gonna try to just drop it on their face right here I guess. But oh man I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do once I get them on. If I get them on. Spooked them off right there when my bait landed. God, that one is, yeah, that one's pretty darn big. Even this male's pretty nice. Male's coming up to check it out, but I know I'm way too close, really, for what I, what they're comfortable with and what I should be, but there's just so much stuff here. It's going to be impossible, I think, to maybe even break stuff out of the way, I don't know. But I can't keep it in his bed, really, either. 
Ooh. Yeah, Nail took a look at it for a second there. Eyeballed it sideways. I know the problem is that I'm just right on top of them. If I could be further back, I know these fish would be way more apt to get up in here. But I just don't see a way at all to be further back. Hmm. I don't know though. Maybe there is a way. I'm gonna try to find a way because I don't think that they're gonna come with me right on top of them like this. Try to get down right here maybe I guess. But then I'm gonna be pitching over all these logs. So that's dangerous too. I don't know how I'd land them. Well I don't know how I'd land them anyway, I guess. So hmm. the one is sitting up in there, but pretty sure as soon as I pitch he's gonna spook off. Just on the outside of the bed right there. And wait for him to come in. We've got 20 pound line on here, so hopefully it should make it through all these branches and stuff if I do get this hook this fish hooked up. Easing back up in there. And try to wait for him to get real close to the bank like he was before. There he goes. Now I'm gonna move my bait a little bit. Turn towards it, but he's not really too interested. I'm gonna try to wiggle it a little more. Ah. I'm just moving the bait so much though. Ooh, he is turning towards it though. Come on. Ooh. Yep. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Not liking it right there. That's the spot right there. Okay, that's where he doesn't like it. He started getting real twitchy. Went right down to it. God, even that male is really nice. Holy cow. That female is big, big. Must be. Yep, he's moving around, moving his fins. Circling around the bait. Making tighter and tighter circles. He was going out kind of far before, now he's staying pretty darn close the whole time. There was a real specific spot right there where he hated it for a second. He was getting all fired up, I thought he might eat it. Spooks off when I pitch. Reel it up right to the outside of his bed. Wait for him to come in there again. There he comes, moved up in there. Oh yeah, he didn't like that movement. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, yep. Going down to it. Oh. Oh, come on fish. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> okay. We're going we're going to get this one to bite at least. Don't know if I'm going to land it, but I'm going to get this fish to bite. He is getting real irritated now. Found his spot. Moving in real slow. Okay, there he is. Oh, oh, yeah. He was a little too much, but nope. He got real fired up. Ooh, ooh, he's going right down to it. Ooh, he's right on it. Ooh, ooh, he wanted to eat it really badly right there. He was getting real twitchy. <laughs> yeah, that side of the bed is where he doesn't like it. And he's not getting too awfully spooked. He's not staying gone long, so I can go ahead and keep making pitches here without fear of really spooking him off at all. Wait for him to get back in there so I can see it coming in. see this fish right now. Where you at dude? Is he out there looking at my bait? Maybe a little bit deeper? Oh yeah, he is. Exactly what he was doing. There he is. 
Huh. Wow. He was looking at my bait coming in way out there. Yep. Oh, yep, going down to it. Oh, 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 got it. Oh my gosh. Come over those logs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I freaking got him. Yes, I worked so hard for that fish. Got positioned perfectly. And that's what you come out with. Patience and knowledge of how these fish are acting got me that one right there. Biggest one I've caught out of this pond. That is a really nice one there. Very, very healthy fish. There he goes. I want to get a little better look at him before I let him go, but that's all right. <laughs> right back to his bed. And I hadn't seen that female around at all, so I don't think she's going to come up in here now. But that's all right mail off of that bit is plenty big I'll take that out of here for sure yes oh it kind of sucks wanted to look better look at that fish there I know it was at least four pounds it might have been pushing five I don't know just want to get a little bit better look at it before I let him go but he flopped out of my hand there back into the water but golly I'm not gonna complain after that that was a fun fish to work really fun fish to catch that was awesome Side of him and see if he'll maybe get up there a little better. Hmm. I don't know. It looks like there's a really big area. It could be a bed around this tree actually. He just moved up over to the left though when I came around here, so I think that's where he wants to be. see him so I'm just gonna keep on working it oh yep there he is yep going down to it there he goes <laughs> oh yeah this fish is gonna eat it pretty quick here he comes here he comes oop he's all over it oop oop another one ate it wow I thought that's what happened I felt a little tug wow another one came out of there and ate it the male or female I don't know whichever one this one is and then whichever one he is. Oh, oh, that was cool. I was sitting there trying to work that one fish and another fish came out from underneath the log and ate it. I assume either that's the male and this is the female or that's the female and this is the male, but either way, wow, that fish got irritated as crap that my bait was over there and <laughs> ran over there and ate it. First pitch. I think that's a little female actually. Looks like she's got a little belly on her. Let's see, get her back out there. Let's see if I can catch both of them off of this bed. I didn't even see that second fish. I had no idea it was there. I guess it was sitting under that log looking the whole time. I'll pitch it right here where he keeps sitting. Literally right on top of the log. Back up, way over here. Let's see if he'll show back up. Oh no, dang it. After I repitch, I guess. Just pulled my bait when I didn't want to. He's sitting right there too, so I might try to get him to react right here. Okay, no go for that. Okay, right on top of the log. And back up without pulling my bait this time. Just sitting there, kind of turning towards the bait. Hmm backing up. I'm going to wait for him to move back up in there a little bit. Because he will sit right on top of that log. That's where he wants to be. That's where I originally saw him and when you walk away for just a minute that's where he always gets right back to is right on top of that base of that tree right there. 
Yep, yeah, there he goes, moving into it. Oop, got it by the middle of the bait. I don't know if I'm able to hook him or not. Yep, there he got him. There he got him. <laughs> Talking about not being able to hook him or not, and then he ate the rest of the bait, so I knew I could. And he is milting, so that's the male there. Caught the female first, and then the male. Oh, dang, I hooked him in the tongue. Hope that didn't harm him. A lot of times that can make him bleed pretty bad. Gosh, hooked him right through the tongue, too. Gosh. I think he's good. It doesn't look like it made him bleed. Get him back in there very quickly. Thank you for playing, dude. All right, got the male and the female off that bed. That was cool. Of course, not near as big as that last one. So it's a little bit lackluster in size, but <laughs> definitely still lots of lots of fun. Well, I don't see anything over here. Got a pond kind of close by that I want to hit real quick before it gets dark. It's about four o'clock right now, so I gotta hurry if I want to hit it, but it should be pretty clear and I assume that they're spawning in there right now too. They should be on pretty much everywhere now I'm guessing but this is a pretty small little body of water just like this one so I'm sure it's warmed up quite a bit with these good warm last few days and being the beginning of March they're just gonna start flooding the banks they have to gotta drop their eggs at some point March into April is usually that triggering time It's got me breathing heavy. And my heart rate is through the roof right now. That big old fish just almost turned and ate this. She turned right down to it. Whew. Gotta get my heart rate back down here and think a little bit. Because that just threw me for a loop. There was another nice one too. There's actually there's a pair, like I was saying. Yep, there she is again. Yep, going down to my bay. It was too far this way, I think. I'm gonna get on this side of this fish. Try to pitch to her. Man, can't see on this side at all though. The light is just terrible right there. Gonna have to try to get her from this side. As the light goes down, that might actually be good for me. Her not being able to see me, I don't know. She's got her head right in the reeds right now. Gonna try to get her to react to it. Kind of bumped her side actually a little bit i think i didn't really want to do that but actually here she comes right back in there so maybe that was a good thing can't see though can't see because the reeds oh my god she's right on it oh there it is i see my bait now ah it was just a little bit further back towards her she'd eat it right now oh my goodness she's just staring at it Kind of twitched at first and then just started staring at it right here come on kind of bumped her again but that seemed to irritate her the first time so that's okay oh yeah she's yawning out here oh my gosh that fish has a big old mouth ah, can't see my bait though it keeps getting dug down in that moss i'm gonna throw a white bait on here real quick where i can see hopefully she keeps reacting on it well Oh man, this is a big fish. This will be the biggest fish I've caught out of here by far if I can get this one. There is this big old girl. I'm not seeing her right now. 
Come on, girl, show yourself. Oh, she's right underneath the freaking reeds, right there. Yep. Ah, she was right in there. I should have pitched. Oh, she went to my bait, so. Dang. I had a feeling that's what was happening. She was so close right here that I couldn't see her. That's where I wanted her, right in there. Dang it, I should have pitched to her. Well, now I'll just sit here and wait for her to get repositioned. Hopefully. She is a big old fish, so I'm sure she's amongst the smartest ones in here. Yeah, she's just kind of staring at it now from out there, even with the big hops. Oop, there she made a move, actually. Made a move up. Ooh, yep, she's getting antsy from out there now. Maybe I need to be closer to this bank, actually. There she is, way up shallow over there again. Try to get her attention here. Yep, oh, she's coming down to it. Oop, ooh. Yep, she made a run at it there. Tried to scare it off. She made a definite run at it there. Trying to scare it off. They're really high right now. She's looking at it from afar. Oh, yep, she got it. Oh no, I missed her. She had it. She had it. She had it. She had it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she had it. I think she spit it out before I could set the hook. I didn't feel anything at all when I set the hook there. Here she comes from the back. Oh, she's gonna get it. Come on. Come on, Oop, she nipped it. She nipped it, just the tail. Oh my goodness. She got just the tail and got a mouthful of moss. No idea where she's at right now. I'll try to get her attention. Oh, yep, there she is. Yep, going down to it. Oop, oop, she nipped the tail. Come on, girl. Mouthful of moss again, come on. Spitting out all that moss. Go eat my bait. Come on, quit missing it, girl. Wow. She's missing my bait every time she swipes at it. I'm not sure where the fish is. I'm going to pitch in there. Oh, yep, there she is. Every time I say that, she shows up. spit it out really fast. <laughs> Not full of moss again. Spitting out all that moss. She's going to get tired of that one of these times and just inhale this thing. I know she is. Yep. Oop. Tail again. Spitting out moss. <laughs> Oop. Got her. Got her. Yes, yes, yes. I had to work for that big girl a long time. But I finally got her. <laughs> I told you there was some big ones in here, dude. Didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, big old belly. Big old female full of eggs. She's sitting on a bed right here. That's how I caught her. Golly. Oh, eggs. oh yeah, see how full of how fat she is? This time of year that means they got eggs. They're spawning. There's actually a male too, but I don't know where he went. I scared him off, I think, with all that commotion, but it's a pretty nice one. You wanna hold him here? Yeah. Hold on tight. Grip tight because it's gonna be heavy when I let go. <laughs> yes sir. Uh probably about five. Yeah, you caught a nice one out of here one time too? Yeah, I caught a three pounder yesterday. Oh yeah? Cool. Off of a bed or you don't know? You couldn't see him? Uh, no, he was, uh, he was Far out? Oh, okay. Alright. Good job. Thank you.
Thank you. Back out there, I'm gonna give it to you again. Kind of like, uh, shape. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Get ready. He He's coming back around. Yep. Do it real hard. Can you just say here he comes? Yeah. Yeah. Do it real hard again. Oh, yep. Do it hard. Do it hard. Oh, oh, we got him. Oh, oh. You got him. You got him. Real, real, real hard. Real hard. 